so um, get started. My name is Usta, and I'm W national organizer here in Russia. So, uh, and I'm very glad to welcome you on our first meeting of national organizers of WRO. I think it will be a good tradition for us to meet and discuss some relevant problems uh, related to WRO. So we will be first this time and we want to share our experience, how the situation in, in Russia looks like. Uh, and today we will have uh, several reports. You can see all of them here on the slide. Uh, if, so, if, for example, some of them will be absent, that's not a problem because we uh, are going to record this meeting. So, Aida, can I uh, ask you to start the record? Okay, just a minute, I want to check. Okay, great. I'm online. So, um, we will do in that way. So, we will have uh, a report, then we have a question and answer block, then you can um, chat your, uh, check your, uh, sorry, uh, tip your, uh, questions here in the chat and we can answer there after each report. So uh, I will be first and I'm going to tell you about challenges uh, in Russia that we are organizing. So and my friends today we will continue this th to develop this theme. Okay. I would like to ask all the speakers uh, not to exceed the limit of uh, each report. I mean, uh, to speak not more than seven minutes. Let's try to do that. So, uh, we have been organizing uh, WO since uh, 2014, but we uh, organized some alternative challenges uh, to WRO and we call that Russian World Fed uh, that we organized since the, that year. And these challenges are very similar to WRO, but there are some uh, differences. You know, uh, if we are talking about WRO, so we saw uh, such situation that, uh, for example, high school students um, Consider, for example, uh, senior regular category as quite uh, difficult to, for, I mean, uh, in case of assembly robots, and maybe the programming is not so um, difficult for them. So, and uh, that's why we uh, saw that we noticed such situation that uh, the uh, popularity of this category is not high. And we decided to give them an alternative to them. Uh, and we got such question, where can we get ideas for new challenges? And to our, uh, and fortunately we have our university and we just addressed to the academic experience of our university and studied university courses. And you can see basic topics of them on this slide uh, that are related to um, real problems of robotics, such as automatic control, kinematics, perception, localization, planning, and navigation, and multi-agent systems. So each, these moments we can see uh, in each challenges, uh, even in WRO, but we want to focus on these topics in our alternative challenges. And here, and uh, so after that, we decided to work out our, our own concept of task, and we call that programming of intelligent robotic systems. And it means that we expected to have from teams intelligent, auto fully autonomous robots uh, that they can create. And we want to 
focus them only on programming of this robot because we as IT university want to uh, focus their attention, focus their skills and uh, their uh, energy to develop in this uh, direction. So, and after first season in 2014, we noticed that some challenges uh, are over, already solved. So we started as you, I think, uh, with classic challenges like uh, such as to know or maybe maze, life following. But we noticed that these challenges uh, were already uh, solved, and we decided to mm, <clears throat> focus on this focus of university courses and just uh, worked out other challenges. And you can see here that from year to year, these challenges uh, changed. And at the end, I mean, uh, nowadays we uh, have such challenges where we can, uh, sorry, where we can mm, meet these real robotic problems, as I mentioned uh, uh, earlier. For example, in these changes as manipulator sorting, uh, and here the feature, the main feature of this challenge is that uh, team should create and program robots that is that sorts color cubes according to the pattern, and we uh, and it make teams to uh, develop in this direction, such as and I mean make make use them, make them to use. Uh, different algorithms, sorting algori algorithms, maybe theory of graphs, and uh, automatic control when we speak about to uh, control movement of motors, perception when we speak about to about the de detection of colors and maybe localization and navigation of the robot because this robot should understand where uh, its its parts are and uh, how this robot can get there uh, to solve this task. And uh, another challenge we provide for senior high students uh, is uh, localization. So um, the great thing in this challenge is that in the maze that, uh, that gets known only uh, at the day of uh, challenge, so uh, robots should start from unknown place. And it means that robot uh, should, first of all, uh, get to know where it is. It means localization. So, and after um, this uh, thing, uh, robots should transport different cubes uh, to different places and then return to the start. It means that in this case, robot should understand where it is and according to the map that uh, were it downloaded or downloaded uh, into robot uh, earlier. And uh, these changes are not only ones uh, that we provide to the teams. So together with our partners, we created uh, modern uh, relevant uh, challenges that uh, relate with uh, really interesting challenges such as self-driving cars or unmanned area vehicles or even underwater uh, underwater vehicles. And we want to to see such challenges on that, uh, in WO as well. So uh, that gives teams uh, a good challenge and uh, will develop in them appropriate, I mean, modern skills uh, in different, uh, in IT area. So we uh, have been organizing such challenges, as I mentioned uh, earlier, since 2015. And now from this season, we are going to open 
these challenges for you uh, to um, for you to come to us and to see with your eyes uh, how these challenges look like and how these challenges can help your teams to develop IT skills. So. Actually, uh, my friends will um, give you detailed information about each challenge and educational solutions that they provide. I mean, uh, when we speak about um, platform or I mean some alternative sets to Lego or maybe some uh, software solutions we will uh, speak about later. And when uh, we see that uh, this Olympiad, so you can invite your teams to to us. Each team uh, it consists of one to three school going students in the age of uh, 15 to 18 years old. And we want to cancel, uh, to read off the limits uh, that, for example, are uh, still, um, still double has. But in this season, we saw that WO uh, is going to change, and we are very glad that, uh, in, for example, in open category, the platform, I mean, uh, is already open. It means that we can use any hardware. And this feature uh, concerns all the challenges in this Olympiad. It means that teams can use any materials, any hardware, and any software. So there are some uh, limits, but uh, it depends on the challenge that make challenge makes challenge more interesting. Here on this slide, you can see uh, these challenges of our open Olympiad. So, as I mentioned, intelligent autonomous car, underwater vehicles, aerial vehicles, and besides that, we give an alternative to double O open category based on using on use of technology of Internet of Things. It means that teams uh, create not only the robots, they create a system of robot hardware and uh, application, web application or maybe uh, client application. So, and it, in this uh, season, we uh, make them to create these uh, projects uh, based on teams of intelligent urban infrastructure that is very similar to smart cities or double all season. Uh, the main feature in this challenge uh, that these robots should be quite in part and fully autonomous to solve the task. It means that um, uh, we want to focus their attention, uh, their energy of teams to the programming area to the programming direction, uh, not, for example, direction of constructing uh, the robots or the robots. Besides that, we would like to invite you to uh, our Advanced Robotic Challenge tournament that is open to you this uh, year. We want to uh, invite more uh, students here to make this challenge uh, bigger and I think it's a good chance for your teams to have a good preparation for the WO International Final. Our uh, Olympiad will uh, have place at the end of June, here you can see, uh, at our Indianapolis University here in Russia. Uh, I think that uh, I will be glad to welcome you to expect all of you in our at our university uh, this time and to join our challenges. So let's stay in touch. Here uh, is the site of our Olympia uh, when you can where you can uh, study all the information and uh, information about uh, about the task about the rules. So and. Uh, yeah. So let's stay in touch. Here are my contacts and your question, please. So if you have some questions, just right here in the chat. Here I see some mark about almost. Yeah, almost. It means that uh, there are some uh, 
limits. For example, when we speak about uh, autonomous cars, it means that uh, this robot should be as a car, not a just a mobile robot. It means that uh, you should uh, integrate Ackerman principle in your car, for example. Or uh, another um, interesting thing in these changes are, is that uh, teams can use computer vision. And that's another thing that we want to see uh, on the NWO challenges. So, uh, if you will um, have questions further, then you can write them in the chat. Now we go to the next report of uh, Alessandro Cotto. So, about academy-driven robotic challenges for high school students. So, hi, Alex. Hi. Can you hear me? I see that Richard uh, asked some question. I, I hope Rustam will answer this question after my presentation. So, yeah, Richard, please just wait. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, hi, everyone. So, um, uh, probably uh, you know me because I am working as, as head judge for in uh, advanced robotics category in uh, WRO International final, uh, starting uh, since uh, India. <laughs> would say so. Um, so um, uh, today I would like to present uh, um, you, uh, you know, how we, what, what, uh, what ideas we trying to put uh, in our competitions and uh, where we get these ideas, uh, uh, how, we, how we try to adopt uh, very complex, um, you know, uh, topics uh, if uh, we compare to current, uh, no, uh, you know, le level of knowledge of, of high school students, uh, and um, uh, if you, in, in, in you will see that we are su quite successful in this uh, because, uh, yeah, and I, I, I will present you. Actually, uh, if you see, um, uh, all, of, all of all of you understand. Uh, is very well, so uh, we discuss this uh, stuff uh, with different uh, representatives from different countries, and uh, everyone agrees that robotics uh, provide, you know, w very good motivation uh, to learn math, engineering, science, uh, uh, mechanical engineering, uh, programming, and so on. Yeah. Um, students are ready to put uh, maximum efforts if they would like to participate in robotics competition they can you know go to the school or uh, some uh, place where they uh, are preparing uh, to robotics competition evening starting from morning and be there uh, till uh, uh, late evening and uh, uh, do some exercises prepare, do some preparation and so on so and we see that it's a good, you know, um, uh, um, tool to um, st learn um, students uh, and uh, get familiar students with IT technologies. And but what we uh, found uh, the and the current robotics uh, challenges, you know, um, uh, they are trying to cover issues or problems uh, which already addressed in the world. Uh, I mean, uh, when I say this uh, usually I mean that usually they are solving the issues which was solved by you know industry in uh, the middle of last century so uh, and uh, sometimes we lost students because it's not you know interesting and it, uh, it is not quite um, actual task for them and it is not uh, uh, you know um, challenge them uh, enough because it's just about you know construction maybe some simple algorithms and so on and uh, on the uh, competi robotics competition, you definitely do not uh, provide any math knowledge uh, or engineering knowledge or programming knowledge. You, you need to build very simple program. I, I'm not saying that all of robotics competition are doing this, but uh, almost all of them. Yeah, uh, we inspected, uh, you know, set of competition and understand this clear very clearly. And if we compare th uh, students which participate in, in robotics competition, we could say that uh, fr fr from hard skill perspective, I mean from programming or from math, uh, especially I'm, I'm talking about this 
hard skills, uh, we see that uh, this the level of knowledge of these topics uh, for uh, robotics uh, participants, uh, I mean robotics challenges participants, lower than um, level of the um, participants and other uh, high school students competitions like in, uh, International Olympiad of Informatics or uh, inter, uh, International Olympiad of Mathematics. They are also for uh, high school students, but the level of knowledge of the students which participated, uh, participated in these challenges related to math or robotics <laughs> And I, I think you agree uh, with me, and uh, we uh, it's you know it's ha uh, hard even even to compare these students because uh, level of uh, students uh, which participate in math in uh, in, in, pro uh, in pro programming competitions very high, right? And uh, uh, imagine that uh, what I uh, next slides I will present you some tasks uh, which we. Uh, uh, trying to, you know, solve with our students uh, on our challenges. Imagine that uh, the robot uh, has some initial coordinates and uh, we know these coordinates, robots know these coordinates and the robot is moving, for example, do line following or uh, by do, uh, fo following some tra trajectory. Uh, and we need to say, uh, which position of this robot will be in you know in in one minute or uh, where it is located after this movement movements uh, for example what coordinates of uh, point one, uh, a one or point a two so and uh, so far uh, uh, competition like WRO um, you know do not change uh, students uh, to solve this task uh, but if you look at the solution of this task is very simple and you see that very simple um, you know topics are uh, behind of this uh, uh, task so you see that th there is tra trigonometry here and some you know um, simple very simple uh, geometry and uh, everything is achievable by high school students so there are nothing uh, there is no rocket science definitely here. There are no uh, high ma uh, uh, um, university mass here. It's just uh, very simple uh, concepts which uh, they usually use in um, uh, school. And uh, if we look at similar challenges like uh, manipulator, you know, uh, the, this is the example of the algebra. Uh, so we, we, there, we need to understand uh, relationship between time and angles of the m on the motors of the manipulator or challenge like this you know uh, the robot uh, is moving on some uh, place plane and uh, need to understand coordinates of uh, uh, obstacles it uh, it's it it, it, it sense uh, or computer vision it's very you know another geometry example that uh, you just need to some bu build some you know very simple uh, module and uh, you you, are, you can solve uh, tasks related to uh, computer vision um, another example is uh, graph theory example then you need to build the robot uh, will need uh, to build, you know, optimal path to move uh, in, s in some ways. Uh, it's graph theory and uh, how to build uh, optimal paths or even just paths in uh, these, uh, you know, in uh, graphs. It's it's common topic for all uh, competition of uh, of informatics. Um, and a last example I would like to present is most difficult one is that the uh, robot do doesn't know doesn't know in advance about the map it doesn't know in advance about position where it is it is started and robot needs to build a map and uh, reach some uh, specific point on this map after localization and mapping and th th this very complex uh, topic from uh, um, 
university uh, robotics courses, but uh, by in, in on this very simple um, field, uh, or, or by, by in this particular you know uh, assignment or uh, how, how it is stated, uh, it's achievable to be done uh, by uh, high school students. And you know, uh, as proof of this, we, we are saying that uh, we already hold this held this co competition like this in different you know, um, uh, co co competitions like Russian Robot Olympiad, like uh, track uh, the uh, intellectual robotics system or on Olympiad of National Technology Initiative, it's new Russian uh, uh, engineering contest. And a similar task we provide this year for advanced robotics category uh, in WRO. And if you're saying where we get these ideas or where we get this, you know, um, challenges or tasks, I'm saying that we just uh, go to the robotics courses or uh, starting reading uh, some robotics uh, academic book and see which concepts or which topics we could adapt to high school uh, students level. And, uh, you know, that's all. So uh, just uh, we need to uh, understand these topics by ourselves and uh, see how it could be adapted on their level. And uh, that's all from my side. May the force will be with you. Yeah, Rustam, yeah, you, you Rustam, have a question uh, from question. Richard, uh, from please. Richard. please. Yes, actually, I already uh, answered this question in the questions block. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So, uh, if you will have uh, questions further, you can uh, ask them in the questions block. So, Alex, thank you for your report. And now, uh, for the next one, uh, is now we go to Sergey Moon, uh, that is our partner and responsible for underwater challenge and uh, he will uh, uh, talk he will tell about more clearly so sergey so hi please welcome Can you hear me well <coughs> uh, hello everyone my name is sergey i'm an organizer of the autonomous underwater vehicle competition in in Apollos and uh, and in Vladivostok, we have been organizing this competition in Russia since 2016. We have one regional competition that is held in Vladivostok, and all Russian one in in Apollos. While there are few participants, an average of six eight teams. This is uh, due to this fact. Uh, that today it is the only one competition among uh, AOV for school ch children in the world. Now in the world, uh, there is competition among the remotely operating vehicles. Mate ROV is the largest competition in underwater robotics, and it is held for both school children and students. About 600 teams participate annually. Competition consists of 30 regional qualifying contests and the final in the USA or Canada. In Vladivostok, we organized one of these regional contests. In addition, there are competitions for students already among the AUV that are held in San Diego and in Singapore. There are from 30 to 50 teams involved. Our compet competition tasks are very similar to RoboSub tasks, only naturally a bit easier. Usually teams need to perform tasks related to the recognition of objects, positioning and uh, raising uh, objects. For example, this year, uh, according to legend, a robot must inspect the ship wreckage. To do this, it must enter the ship through the hull, identify uh, recognize the flag and uh, the flag at the bottom, give a signal to the surface, push uh, the buoy, uh, measure the size of uh, object and float in a given area. Today it is difficult for teams uh, to 
independently develop an underwater vehicle for solving the proposed task. So we offer participants to purchase the kit micro underwater robot developed by us. This kit allows children to assemble an underwater robot within three hours and with the help uh, of an idea and simulator, children can immediately start programming it and solving the set task. I can show you how simulator works. Um, but children can uh, use their own self-made AV. I'm finished. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Sergey, uh, for the report. Now, your question, please. Okay, so uh, you can still um, uh, ask your question here in the chat. So, thank you, Sergey. Now, we go to the next speaker. Uh, it's a team of three. Oh. Okay, thank you, Sergey. So, <clears throat> thank you. Uh, now we uh, help us to uh, organize us to the Vehicle 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 Challenge. So, Oleg, Vanfilionov, Alexey Shulikov, and Svetlana Salmatnika, please welcome. Okay, yeah. Okay. I try to do it, but. Uh, but, uh, uh, but uh, uh, unfortunately, it uh, will take some time. Uh, let let us start now. Uh, so uh, we represent a company, Copter Express. Uh, I'm a CEO of this company, and uh, Svetlana is uh, our trainer of drones. Uh, so uh, we have um, organized uh, already two years um, our flying robotics uh, competition in uh, uh, WRO, uh, Russia, uh, and uh, now we will uh, tell you about it. Uh, we uh, develop, uh, as a company, we develop drones for industrial and um, educational purposes. Uh, uh, according to our vision, uh, the drones will be ev everywhere around us. Uh, uh, and uh, we need uh, uh, new talents uh, to create it and to operate it. Uh, for example, uh, we in 2014 we were the, uh, one of the first co company of the world who will perform a pizza delivery project uh, in Russian cities. And uh, we create drones that can navigate uh, in, not only outside using GPS, but uh, also inside using machine vision technology. Uh, and so we, uh, so we create a open source platform based on uh, Raspberry Pi Free and uh, our code on uh, GitHub that allows everyone to uh, use uh, uh, quadcopters uh, for navigate uh, indoor and program it for full autonomous flight. Uh, on this technology based our uh, competition uh, and our program for uh, World Tropics Olympiad. Yeah, uh, we need uh, some time for loading our presentation because uh, a picture with uh, our tasks is don't uh, download it while Okay. Okay, let's start again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait a second, please. So we stopped on this slide. It's uh, about our machine vision uh, technology for indoor navigation of our educational drones. Uh, and uh, what about our um, uh, competition task and our polygon? Yes, uh, this is about our task. Uh, so, we have uh, many tasks. Uh, first task about uh, obstacle course. Uh, we need to uh, make a flight mission between uh, through ring, uh, gate and about the coast. So, after that, uh, um, 
After that, uh, you need to make a cargo delivery from place for payload uh, to place uh, for drop off. Uh, you need uh, to uh, make a cargo to center a queue. After that, uh, uh, we have a task about uh, building a bridge between uh, two wrecks. Uh, after that, uh, uh, our task about uh, city monitoring. Uh, you need to uh, make a flight mission between uh, a different color hours. And um, uh, also our polygon uh, have a infrared transmitter uh, to choose um, to transmit um, a different flight mission. So we need to uh, to receive uh, this signal and make a flight mission uh, from this. Um, so, uh, our summary to, uh, to competitors, uh, what uh, we need to develop a URV. So, first of all, uh, this is indoor autonomous navigation. Uh, pick up uh, mechanism and compatible payload we need to develop uh, your cargo yes and uh, pick up device after that we need you need a cable uh, laying device LED strip light uh, in pride receiver and other optional uh, equipment if you wish uh, so um, next uh, Oh yes, all, all missions uh, should perform in fully autonomous mode, no uh, remote control. Yes, and uh, and um, different um, a, a ran, a, you you can perform a task in random. Um, so, uh, what uh, what we need uh, to start? Um, uh, aim of Olympic is. Um, to uh, increase uh, your people, your students, uh, to industrial problem, uh, and uh, we need to find the solution for this problem. So uh, we develop um, a drone skid named Clever and the open educational source for this. Um, about um, our educational program and how it works, uh, Alec. Mm. Yes, you can you can check on uh, our website. It's uh, cocktailexpress.com, and we have a uh, uh, book, a book um, with uh, all instructions, with all materials that you can check also and uh, check please uh, our open source code on our GitHub. Um, uh, it's uh, the our uh, our platform uh, covered uh, also school subjects. We have a curriculum. For physics, uh, technology, information, the information and engineering. Uh, so uh, it's uh, also covered some school subjects. Uh, and um, uh, this platform uh, of our drones, it's uh, actually have uh, all uh, parts that uh, real, real big uh, industrial drones uh, also have. Uh, so uh, it's a problem that you can create a different types of drones. And this technology of uh, drone navigation you can use for even uh, any drones for any any tasks, not only uh, this competition. Uh, so we learn open source platform. Uh, uh, we studied them to the children, and uh, so uh, after after that uh, we can choose the best one on uh, that type of comp uh, competition. Uh, uh, but also it's uh, not only uh, student who can only code, it's all, uh, he uh, also should uh, um, have uh, some soldiering skills, uh, assembling skills, uh, electronic engineering skills, and so on. Because and it's uh, a team competition. Uh, it's uh, from the three to three. five. Uh, two, two or three person two in teams. Three per person in teams. Yes, yeah. so uh, they can. Uh, uh, Share share different tasks be yes. between each other, uh, and uh, by in the end, yeah, there is our con uh, contact information, and uh, we open to any discussion, uh, and we 
uh, you can organize the training sessions to your experts uh, to share our experience and uh, to um, teach your participants and your experts also. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, Oleg, uh, could you answer the question yeah. about uh, drone speed in South Africa? Uh, yeah, yeah, we can. We yeah, can, yeah, uh, we can. Um, no problem. We can no problem. Uh, sell it uh, worldwide, uh, worldwide, and we can uh, okay. deliver it, uh, send this piece to yeah. so South Africa. No problem. Uh, please uh, write please to our contact. Write to our Uh, we, uh, have, uh, we have uh, um, technical, support. Te technical support and yeah. we have uh, education materials in English and uh, soon will be a video um, a video training course on English also. Yes, it will be vir virtual training, right. There's another question from Richard. Are there, are there other uh, add-ons, I think uh, additional Parts edition of TED. So, sorry, what question? Are there other? Uh, Here, uh, so at the top of the screen, uh, there are, there is a question block, and you can see. Uh, his question. So, it, uh, as far as I understand, so is there are there any um, additional set, additional uh, kits? Uh, sorry, uh, additional kits. Uh, I mean, for example, that includes sets. Sense. Sense. You, you mean, uh, can you use any other kit or, or what? what? What is the question? Um, I don't know uh, either. I think uh, he asked about uh, your own set, your own kit. Uh, are there any kits, I mean, the extended kits, I mean, with uh, other parts, for example, sensor, maybe motors? Do you have such uh, additional kits? Okay, as I understand, yeah, we have uh, additional additional kits uh, for for this uh, quadcopter, uh, for uh, like uh, uh, FPV kit, first 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 view kit, like a uh, car de car delivery additional kit, uh, and uh, additional sensors. Yeah, it is. So uh, you can uh, buy uh, additional additional kits and use it uh, together with Clever Drone. Okay, good question. Okay, great, thank you. Great, thank you. Yeah, Richard, uh, so okay. thanks, thank thank thanks for this. Bye. Thank you, bye. Uh, thank you. Nikolai uh, Uvarov uh, is uh, representative from the uh, organizer uh, who is responsible for challenge of self driving cars. Oh, sorry, mm, we just changed the chain. Now, actually, uh, we'll go to uh, Daria Markova is a representative of our own uh, lab lab uh, laboratory of uh, Inapurus University that uh, works with uh, urban proje projects and uh, as well as you know that uh, this uh, season's theme of WO is uh, smart cities and we actually have uh, such a uh, laboratory which uh, direction, which world area is uh, very similar to that. and. Uh, she will uh, tell us. She will tell you about uh, their own project and uh, uh, is going to clarify this theme. I mean, uh, smart cities, intelligent urban uh, infrastructure, and besides that, Daria is a responsible. Uh, is uh, so help us to organize this challenge. Uh, intelli intelligent, uh, intelligent robotic system projects. It's uh, an alternative to the open category. So I just um, mentioned about that. So Dara, please come. Please come online. 
if you have if you have no questions, so it's right time to ask them. So to ask to yeah to ask here, we would like to glad to answer them. So, hi, hi Dada, you're welcome. Yes. So, so welcome, welcome to presentation, I'll, 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 I'll find it. Okay, it's here. Hi, hi Dada, you're welcome. Yes. Ah, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. I see I that. See that. Okay. So, one minute, please. Hello, everyone. Uh, today, I uh, talked about smart city concept. Um, if uh, you have some questions, you can uh chat with me and yeah let's start so we um, live in cities and uh, we should understand what is city yes a uh, city is different uh, type of systems it's like a political system social system economical system but uh, city it's also a technological system and uh, we live in uh, homes and works every day and we should understand what's around us and so what about smart yeah uh, smart it's um, so um, think with data with information and uh, so um, maybe some instruments or how you can understand the cities and uh, in city we have a lot of infrastructures roads uh, buildings um, parks yeah and uh, we should understand how we can get from when uh, one point to other point and we use a map digital map and uh, for example google maps uh, um, um, uber with taxi its services and we have should um, uh, good quality of data and uh, it contains um, in services and we can understand uh, how we can improve quality of life for citizens and for customers if you want to for example develop in some uh, new area in city and um, this is concept it's a very very um, like infinity uh, big yeah uh, it's uh, mob mob mobility it's public spaces uh, it's uh, for municipal man management uh, cities it's always but um, always um, uh, everyday life uh, and we use a lot of mobile uh, phones apps uh, but uh, for um, understanding what we can design and uh, improve we should use model and um, for example for the digital model in Annapolis city we created and uh, we can see a lot of layers and understand uh, how many people live here yes and how many um, public spaces we have around us uh, for example, with transportation uh, system, we can understand how many uh, bicycle spaces uh, near um, my lovely cafe, for example, or restaurant. And this is information uh, we can use in real life. But so uh, the main problem um, and um, uh, differences with uh, um, uh, old cities and smart cities is um, digitalization and so using digital model we can understand uh, how we can plan new areas or um, current situation in city for example we can uh, see on the map on city a lot of um, um, trees a lot of uh, um, beans uh, and other objects 
And the, this is uh, object uh, can say us and people can say us about problems, about ideas for uh, creating for um, creating new public spaces, for example, or new um, models for planning some um, monitoring on, uh, of infrastructure. For example, lighting. Yeah, uh, if you live uh, and uh, go on, um, get uh, from home to work every day on the streets, you can see uh, around you a lot of lights. And so now I can. Uh, send uh, some links uh, for more understand about cities and process uh, and you can um, understand what I mean with real-time process. Uh, it's not competition only in Russia, it's uh, you can um, um, see around you what the streets uh, you can improve and create some um, IT models for it. This is links, you can use it for understand uh, what I mean in um, connect, uh, collection data and for example um, some two cases. Uh, city of Amsterdam, yeah, uh, we can uh, understand what uh, about noise on streets and how many transportation flows around us and for instance we can shoot um, improve uh, this uh, um, quality of life, yes, and uh, for, for this we should construct some um, uh, robots, some sensors, uh, GPS, yeah, uh, cameras, uh, with a lot of hard uh, uh, instruments for understanding what arouses us. And so uh, the main idea of smart city is um, collect data and um, uh, develop idea for improving everything, yeah, from maybe underground engineer network to transportation systems. So you can use my presentation and uh, creating ideas for um, smart infrastructure. For example, uh, from uh, smart infrastructure, it's uh, like, um, for example, um, camera for security of uh, monitoring of streets. So I think you understand uh, what type of thing you can construct and you can maybe use uh, like a prototype uh, not all of city yes you can use maybe um, one building and uh, prototype the city and prototype um, with map or with uh, some drone or robots how it will uh, get information in real time and how we can analyze this information for improving process in city. Process is uh, different, yeah, so from mobility to improving public space to um, and etc. It's so um, your task. I think uh, you can understand. I yeah. We we'll have seven, seven minutes, so some questions, if you want ask me, you can ask now. Okay, thank you, Darren. Yes, it's time for questions, so please welcome to ask all your questions here in the chat. Uh, Dada, can you explain roughly, so can you tell about the challenge, about the competition this the year, challenge. just a little bit? The main challenge? Uh -huh. Okay, the main challenge. Yeah, which project do you expect to see? Okay, you should construct okay. intellectual, uh, intellectual, uh, uh, I mean, uh, which uh, so solutions, which ideas? Uh, you can construct. Uh, mm -hmm. 
For example, you can monitor uh, street lights in real time. And so you can uh, maybe put and sensors so together uh, and put, uh, put it uh, on real uh, lighter uh, and real understand uh, will it uh, now or not uh, work. And so we can maybe model and some so uh, street and um, create it and um, uh, smart robot who will understand uh, about will the understand, uh, uh, work uh, or not work um, or sa not work, uh, this object sa in city. It's um, maybe it's very simple idea, uh, but simple you can idea, maybe um, you can make a uh, transportation uh, models and uh, uh, understand models how we we'll, uh, uh, use how the we'll, uh, good uh, use the uh, road this robot. <coughs> okay, thank you. Uh, so the main so idea is uh, uh, yes, solve some problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we have some uh, questions, mm -hmm. so I uh, would like uh, to ask you to ask them. So uh, thank you, Daria. Uh, thank you. Daria. Uh, so here is uh, uh, one question from Richard. Here is uh, uh, one question from What do you think are the most exciting and interesting area in smart cities? Mm -hmm. uh, today, uh, most exciting is creating new services. For example, in um, tourism or monitoring uh, um, quality of air, for example. But uh, because a lot of uh, uh, cars, yeah, a lot of um, um, noises, its uh, urbanization are increased. Uh, and next year, it will be a lot of problem for optimization how move from one uh, area to other area, and we should construct the smart um, infrastructure uh, will, um, for understanding how it we can optimize. For me, it's uh, to, uh, transportation system, tourism, and yeah, uh, some eco eco monitoring process. Yeah. But you can find a lot of uh, cases and uh, find in your city some problems with citizens, with business, yeah, with maybe some in use because cities are different. And uh, from one city, we, ca we cannot uh, uh, implement to other cities such a system, smart system. Difficult, but we, you can uh, try to um, guess. Okay, thank you, Daria. Uh, now we uh, go to the next speaker. Uh, it will be Nikolai Uvarov. Uh, it's a representative for from our partners who are responsible for self-driving autonomous self-driving uh, cars challenge. So Nikolai Ovar, please come online. And uh, Nikolai uh, will uh, tell us about the challenge itself and some educational platforms that, that uh, they develop, use uh, to teach uh, young people uh, in this area. So Nikolai, please welcome. Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Anatoly Popkov, the CEO of Popkov Robotics. I am uh, his representative translator and today I will tell you about our smart car uh, learning kit. So uh, shall we start? Uh, so this is a smart car uh, learning kit that is based on these uh, model vehicles. They're created on uh, purchasable, simple, 1 to 14 scale, high speed, four wheel drive cars, uh, resemble a Humvee. Uh, a lot of modifications are made to them, as you see in the presentation. Uh, clearly some brains need to be installed. Uh, first of all, they are based in uh, visual recognition. So a camera is installed on top of the vehicle. It is a uh, 30 FPS, uh, 1080p camera with the uh, 
the geometric stabilizer. It is far than capable uh, of uh, uh, performing the visual recognition tasks at hand. Uh, the uh, physical abilities of the car have been also modified. The motor has been replaced with a far uh, more powerful and slower construction. Uh, the front wheel wheels have been disabled and instead a, a magnetic encoder has been installed on the front that enables uh, students to measure the telemetry of the vehicle so they can know how far and how fast the vehicle goes. Uh, it also makes the vehicle much slower uh, that allows much more precise movements and uh, makes the job of visual recognition software much, much easier. Uh, the turning radius uh, have also been much improved and it can turn much sharper so that it can actually fit on the course provided. <sighs> so what goes for the brains of the vehicles, uh, a, an orange pie computer, a uh, board computer is installed inside of it, also a custom made uh, Popkov Robotics uh, controller based on an Arduino Nano. Uh, the Orange Pi is there to provide computational power for the visual recognition software and analyzing the video feed and the controller is uh, there to control the aspects of the vehicle and to program its logic and decisions. The, there are two lithium-ion batteries installed in there, one for uh, powering the systems, uh, the computational systems, and want to power the drive systems of the car so that the voltages wouldn't change between the two systems. Uh, the vehicles are very easily picked up by the spoiler on the back, so when you're deploying it onto the field and from it, uh, you can easily flip the switch on in the back while you're doing it, so it's uh, very easy to handle. Uh, and all of it fits inside of the hull of the vehicle of the, the one that is purchased, uh, just has to be raised slightly. <sighs> what else? Oh yes, the, uh, the vehicle is also equipped, perhaps you can see it here, with the lights uh, right here. So all the lights of the real life vehicle are installed and uh, students can, can play aloud. Oh wow, the presentation has been lagging. Uh, the, uh, they are programmable and can be uh, uh, also can play around, the students can play around with the lights as well. So the field that the cars run on, uh, we decided that needed to be an, a necessary change relative to the current standard. For example, the robot traffic Technion fields, uh, I believe uh, 30 centimeters uh, wide and can be, they're very easy to handle. Uh, so easy to put apart and store the entire huge track. Uh, they're about six millimeters thick, or three millimeters is whatever you want. Uh, what else about them? Uh, they're made of non-reflective materials, so the windows shouldn't matter uh, for the visual recognition software. The turn radius is uh, much shorter than on other uh, similar fields, which is why the vehicle needed a shorter turn radius and uh, that enables the field to be very compact and it doesn't uh, take a lot of room to place it uh, for a competition or just training. Uh, the field also comes with a sign. Uh, any sign can be recognized with the uh, visual recognition system and the like stop sign, direction signs, uh, so, for example, vehicles can see a sign go right, and they will uh, follow that sign. Stop on the stop sign, obviously. There are also uh, the kit comes uh, with uh, these uh, traffic lights. That actually is operational right now, uh, which operate just like a functional uh, real-world traffic light, which switches to oh, well, it's well-timed uh, yellow and then a green light. Uh, and the vehicles are also capable of recognizing that and can be programmed to stop on them. Uh, they can be mounted on uh, four-way crossways or simple straight lines for training. <sighs> so this uh, set overall has uh, a lot of uh, compatibility with other systems and a lot of uh, uh, possible tasks that uh, students can be assigned with it. So uh, for example, the task can be as simple as uh, program the lights to the blinker lights to uh, 
blink whenever a vehicle turns on course as, as the ready-to-go software will just runs laps, or it could be to modify the software to stop for signs to perhaps keep a speed limit and adjust the speed limit signs. Uh, this uh, is a lot of potential to uh, for different tasks, and they can be very difficult or very hard. And because the field is modifiable, uh, it can also be uh, very easy to set up a program that runs simply on a straight line, simply straight black line, uh, or a full-on circuit. Uh, I believe uh, I believe that is it. So if anyone has any further questions, I will be more than happy to answer them with uh, Anatoly Popkov at my side. <laughs> they can hear you. Questions, please. Uh. Okay, Nikolai, uh, thank you for the great speech. So now it's time for question. Yeah, here's, a, here's one. So can you provide uh, more detailed information about competition? Here's a question for, from Richard. So the competition consists of the uh, two major steps. It's uh, uh, first a qualifying round in which a car is placed onto a, a block so the, so the wheels aren't uh, touching the ground and so the vehicle then proceeds to be tested, how it responds to the uh, black line in front of it, or uh, so the uh, these signs that are placed uh, uh, in front of it. So for example, the vehicle is shown a stop sign, the, vehicle's, uh, the, turn, the wheels stop turning, uh, and so on, to see if it turns on, uh, turns on, turns on black line turns or not. Uh, and then there is the actual competition in which uh, the vehicles are placed onto the field, they drive around and uh, their performance is measured, for example, if they stop on signs or if they uh, follow the line properly and quickly. Uh, and then there is the actual competition in which uh, the vehicles are placed onto the field, they drive around and uh, their performance is measured. So, another one. So, uh, Nicholas, here is another question. So, uh, how the field looks like? Looks like. Uh, yeah, on the, for the competitions, uh, yes, that is, uh, they you can uh, easily will that know only as the day you can of easily post the layout online and uh, assemble it uh, in the layout that is specifically uh, is mentioned for the competition. But when you practice, you can use any layout you want. But uh, for the competition purposes, you can set a set a layout in stone so that uh, everyone has the same chances. So, Nikolai, the question is, will this, will this configuration uh, change for the competition, or uh, it will stay? Uh, yeah, the, uh, based on the challenge, the layout can change uh, ho however the, uh, it is described in the challenge. So, uh, can be a it, it depends on what the whoever hosts the challenge decides. So if uh, you want a simple challenge, can be just a simple okay. circle with two straight lines, could be a figure eight, and so on. And the delay is very long. Sorry, it takes me <laughs> takes me a while to hear you. Okay, now we're expecting another question. I think. Uh huh. So thank you, Richard, for your question. Thank you, Nikolai and uh, Anatoly, for your report. So now we go to the 
next speaker. It will be Maria Tejina, who works actually in educational direction, education. So, hi Maria, please welcome. Hello. Friends. Now, so just yeah, here is your presentation. So please welcome. Hello, friends. I'm glad to see you. I introduce myself. My name is Maria Tejina. I'm a head of a methodical department of Hinopolis University. Uh, thanks to my colleagues for their presentations and work. Uh, my department, department's role is as follows. They accumulate knowledge, tasks and teaching materials, process and uh, modify them, translate into training courses and sell within education market. In fact, it's not so simple. Uh, they have some roles and principles. The, they support as well as conduct competition in which we see children's educational value. Uh, since our principle is end-to-end -end technology education from school to industry, uh, the key green light to competitions where advanced technologies are used. Therefore, the first things we do is we look at trends in the industry and their applicability in education. Um, that are the trends in robotics and programming, which we see today. Um, what about my presentation? Mm. Um, okay. Um, drones. Yeah, it's all clear. Flying dro drones underwater. Um, our future is behind this technology. Uh, the more children live in the conscious reality of drones, uh, the faster industrial progress. Information security is a very important area. They have a uh, separate competition for s uh, school children and a training system for them. Our students uh, can sometimes compete on their some level with adult professionals. Um, machine vision is as popular as the whole topic of drones. We have uh, launched a course uh, on blockchain-based blockchain technologies and have been holding uh, competition with great success for two years. Uh, the course is also based on the competition tasks. Mm. Uh, how we do? Um, next slide. How we do build the educational process? Uh, we look in uh, at robotics through the walls of education. It helps to uh, master physics, programming, uh, mathematics, engineering. We adapt our uh, robotics courses to the age of a child uh, and his or her educational background. I, in Russia, main subjects is uh, educational programs are more or less unified, uh, so we understand what first or sixth grade populace uh, now in mathematics or programming, and we can recommend a program to them. We pay uh, great attention to soft skill. First of all, uh, teamwork and the formation Mm -hmm. uh, uh, first of all, uh, teamwork and the formation of uh, scientific uh, leadership. Competition in robotics is a long distance run. We, chil uh, we teach children to be self-motivated and resourceful. Uh, one example of an educational track. We are starting to introduce um, robotics to children aged um, nine, uh, eight, nine years old. For this reason, we used Scratch or Lego Vidu.
in robotics. Uh, the program uh, lasts for two years. We also track students' knowledge of mathematics. From 10 to 11 years of age, the chi child uh, goes to uh, area 3 and programming in Java or Python. During this period, the child uh, enters national competition level. Uh, the program uh, lasts for two years. After this, uh, we begin career, um, career in, in IT. The child chooses that uh, he or she wants to do seriously robotics or programming. He does effort to programming Olympiad track or uh, develops further in robotics. Also, we can choose applied project format of activities web programming, uh, prototyping, programming for Android, and much more. If a child choose robotics, we include more electronics and physics uh, into the course. Every year, we update training programs with the accumulated knowledge from Olympiads and from the industry. Um, finally, I want to say the development of the course is dynamic and variable process. We try to face challenge of the industry and train potentially high quality engineers. Thank you for listening and I'd be happy to talk more in details and uh, to answer questions in mail maybe. Okay, okay Maria, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that. So if you have any questions, so uh, just feel free to ask them here in the chat. No questions. Actually, there is some pause because of the connections and that's why we should wait a little bit. Okay, thank you to Richard. Thank you for these words. Okay, thank you, Maria. Uh, I think so. Uh, we can finish our meeting, and I'm very glad that uh, this mm, meeting so uh, just has come true. And I think that uh, let's initiate, let's go ahead and uh, continue this tradition to meet each other, to share our experience. And I hope that today's uh, today meeting was useful and interesting for you. So anyway, if uh, some was just absent, that's not a problem. Uh, we will share the, the records and all the materials, the presentation of this webinar to you. And uh, besides that, we are going to sh uh, to send you a little survey just to uh, figure out uh, which areas, which questions uh, were interesting for you, uh, which themes uh, you are interested to discuss further. Yeah, maybe uh, we, uh, you are ready to stay in touch and to share your experience just uh, uh, maybe personally. So uh, thank you for you all. Thank you for uh, all our today's speakers. So uh, everyone, good luck. So bye bye.